Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about making marriage work. We never tire, you know, talking about marriage. So grab a notebook because these points are, have worked for me and they could work for you as well. Let's get into it. So the first point yeah in making marriage work is friendship let me tell you guys i don't know how to emphasize but you need to be friends in this marriage if you're not friends you know you've got into it and you feel like the friendship has kind of disappeared try to bring that back together you know you need to be friends and how do you be friends first of all you need to participate in each other's hobbies those things of saying ah i don't like soccer so i will not watch or she likes fake, fake movies, so I can't watch them with her. You need to participate in each other's hobbies. I've found myself countless times. I already showed my Instagram. When Arsenal is playing, I'm here, eh? seated, watching. So that now after, your husband has some jazz for you, you know? Or when he's speaking, you know how to talk back. If he's talking about Arsenal missed a goal, oh my God, that penalty shot, what? And you don't understand anything, guess what? He's going to go and jazz other boys. He'll be on WhatsApp groups, those WhatsApp groups, uh, FIFA, there are many groups, FIFA, FUFA, what, African, what? <laughs> so you find that the guy can't jazz you because there is no friendship. Like you don't understand him, he didn't understand your jazz, you know. And also guys, guys as well. Some chicks like Nigerian movies, some chicks like, uh, you know, those Hallmark movies where you can predict the whole movie. Like they're going to cry, they're going to find the man, you know. Eh? But as a man... You know, once in a while, just jump in and watch that movie. And then you look at her crying. You know, Steve's always telling me, um, did I miss a part? Which is which is a crying bit, you know, because he doesn't get it. But him just being there. And then I explain to him, now when you go, you know, to the bedroom to sleep, you have jazz. And that's building friendship. Yeah. So it's very key in the marriage. Some people feel like those butterflies you have are going to take you. Mm. Let me tell you, those butterflies are not there. Sometimes you just look at you look at your person and you're like, but, no, okay. <laughs> but because you are close, you are friends, it always works. You know, even when you, like I was sharing uh, in my previous video, first trimester update, intimacy is quite hard because you're going through so much. So you can't even rely on sex. You know, sex brings people together. But when you're, you can't be intimate, you know, for a certain period, you need friendship. Eh? My friends, you need friendship. Those will butterflies, those will feelings, sometimes they are not there. So come together, build those friendships, go on date nights, do all these will fun, fun activities to just keep your, your friendship going. And there are people in marriage who, whose spouses are walking on eggshells. Like for you, you take things too serious. Your, your spouse can't even joke with you. They can't like eh, push you, call, like make fun of you. They make fun of you. Problems, conflicts is arising you know so no be free allow yourselves to be free in the relationship tease each other you know if his breath is smelling you're like mm, today <laughs> you know and those are things that make uh, the marriage work so the first point and most importantly is please keep that friendship in marriage point number two mm? i can't emphasize this enough also fun you guys People are in marriages, seven years, ten years. You are bored with each other. You know, you are bored. The marriage is boring. You do the same things every single day like it's predictable. A whole year can pass and you've never even traveled. Co. You've never changed your environment. You are in the same place. You're here in Buate, in the same dust. Eh? You are seeing the same sitting room, the same bed. Like it gets boring, you guys. You need to change things up. And every time I talk about changing things up and trying new things, people are always saying, one, it's expensive to travel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Isn't that what you're thinking? Hey, it's expensive to travel. Those things are for like, you know, rich people. Or you don't know where to go. You're just there. You have money even, but you don't know where to go. And that is why I'm introducing you to the Tuvayo app. Have you heard of Tuvayo? You guys, Tuvayo is such an exciting app. Now, you're looking for experiences, yeah? affordable experiences the tovayo app is there for you all you have to do is you know download it 
check different experiences on their quad biking, bungee jumping, boat rides and cruises, painting. Like there is so much that you can choose from on the Tobayo app. And I love that it's even not only Ugandan, like, okay, it's Ugandan, but you can travel throughout the region in Mombasa, in Tanzania, just by using the Tobayo app. So the second thing that Tobayo app does for you is that it offers you accommodation spaces, you know? Your house is boring, like it's the same every time, you know? You can change, change it up, you know, go to a different location, fully furnished apartments, yeah? With something different, you know? It doesn't have to be expensive. So if I'm here in Buwate, you know, you're tired of seeing all the dust, you can search on the Tobayo app, a house in Muyenga. You search a house in Muyenga, you find lots of beautiful spaces, you can find 100,000 per, per, per night, you know, it's cheaper than a, a hotel, but you can still get a great experience because you have changed. Let me tell you, when you move, eh, sex becomes different. All of a sudden you want to talk to your partner. Eh? <laughs> Let me tell you, it works. Every time you go on a trip, it doesn't have to be. Manya Dubai or ETC. It can still be in Uganda, but you know, you're checking out different places. So please download the Tubayo app. T-U-B-A-Y-O. Tubayo. It's really changing, changing the game in terms of travel, in terms of experiences, in terms of, you know, having a home away from home, you know. So those things kind of ex bring excitement in a marriage. You're changing things up. You're not bored. Please, six months should not pass when you have not left your home. Leave and go somewhere. So, the Tobayo app is here for you. Yeah? So, please put some fun in the marriage. And you'll see that it's going to just ex bring things out. You're going to be excited about your partner. You're going to discover new things about him. When you're in that tub, that bubble bath in a new place, eh? you're going to, trust me, things are going to get better. Mm. You try it. Light bulb moments, Lisa. Did you know that fathers who do chores around the house are likely to have more ambitious daughters? Kala, if you can't think about us, think about your girls. Your daughters need you. Ambition is key. The third point, you know, in making marriage work is sacrifice. I know it's hard, but you have to sacrifice. You know, people come into marriage thinking that they're going to get Oh, he's going to give me, he's going to love me, he's going to make me happy. No, you're going into marriage to serve. It's an assignment. Let me tell you, you're going to serve, to give of yourself. So most of the times, you don't get what you want always. Like, I will get my way, I will do this. No, you have to sacrifice for the other person. Yeah. So in marriage, it's two servants who are in love. So you always have to sacrifice. And even that helps with conflict resolution. Now, I'll talk about conflict in my next video, but that is going to help you. Always, you know, think about how can I serve my partner? And if both of you are thinking about that, honestly, you know, things become easier. You communicate better. You support each other better because you're trying to give of yourself. And that's what marriage is. Marriage is not a space where you come to receive. And the moment you keep receiving and only receiving, the other party gets tired and gives up and relaxes. You know, they get complacent because you're not giving them anything. So always give of each other. Sacrifice your needs for some time eh, for the other person. So it's a two-way street. So that is what is really key. And that helped me in my marriage. You know, sometimes I want what I want. Mm -hmm. But then I look at my partner, I look at Steve, and I'm like, you know what? For the good of this marriage, I will give my desires up. And that's what works. It's not that always that, eh, you see people are happy. Oh my God, their marriage is excellent. Oh, hmm, she chose well. Of course I chose well, but there's lots of work that is being done in the marriage. So give yourself up for your partner. When you start to do that, the other person begins to see, oh, wow. Because when sacrifice comes in, that's where true love is actually felt. Yeah? So sacrifice today for your partner. Point number four. Forgiveness. Let me tell you. We get uh, married to these people and we look at them and we feel all the love. You're like, oh, mwah, this person, really, we have made it. Yeah. But let me tell you, look at that person again. You see that person? He's the one, she's the one who's going to annoy you the most. Eh? She's the one who's going to 
get you angry the, the most because you know when you love each other the people you love the most are the ones that hurt you the most unfortunately like sometimes eh, we can't prevent it so as you look at them with love and all this mwah, remember they're going to hurt you but let me tell you you need to put up you know a heart of forgiveness you need to forgive we are holding on people are holding on to things especially women three years Eh, the person did something three years ago but you can list the time the date the moment everything you know because you're holding on to those things so just let go let go of those things sometimes the person may not even say sorry you know because of ego we are waiting for the person to say sorry uh recently steve and i had some sort of okay for me i thought it was like a, a conflict but for him it's like it was not even conflict eh? but you know i was crying i was crying and then for him he was just there not look not so not talking not doing anything i'm like man angry at this guy why isn't he tapping me to stool you know to say something but that day there was a match mm -hmm. but he stayed in bed with me just you know looking and looking but i'm like mm, i was so pissed and you know when you're pissed things your brain begins to play games on you Kale, it's because you know, oh my god he's it brings so many things even things that are not, you ever over exaggerate you know eh, but the guy didn't talk Then in the morning he's going to work he's dressing up he's like <laughs> like this guy right now he's not going to say anything but in that moment i was like first of all we are a team if i let him get out of this door we have not talked about this ah uh, ah uh, no so let me kill my pride a man who was crying but let me be the one to do what to reach out so i'm like excuse me sir nga yo dressing up you going can we please stop like sure let's talk <laughs> he was called by the way now it was me who was all our nange ego the ego will make marriages fail you just reach out so when i reached out i said let's stop and talking and i said but why didn't you even tap me because like ah actually there was a match me i decided to sit with you as you cry through it because me i didn't know what to say you know men get confused with our tears sometimes and even after five years you think they will understand they will not so talk about those things and then so i in that moment when i asked him to let's talk i forgave him it's not like he had done anything but in that moment you can feel like sha why isn't he doing this to me eh? that's how you start not talking two days one week you know that lucidica jazz so always just be the one to reach out and forgive your partner and when we talked about it it was actually kawa it became so kawa so please have a heart of forgiveness the moment you hold on you're not able to freely enjoy the joy that comes with marriage that is my tip for you so the fifth and final tip that i have of course there are so many but this one i'm saving it you know save the best for last <laughs> if you want to make marriage work let me tell you when you remove god from the picture let me tell you even if you do all the steps i've given you or if you read all books all kinds of things marriage will not work without god yeah there's something about the fear of god when you have a relationship with god hmm, and you fear him and you eh you believe in him there's certain things you can't do in marriage let me tell you you can't because you know this is ministry this is an assignment so i'm not doing it for my partner i'm not doing it for myself only but i'm doing it to the glory of god so when you have a fear of god let me tell you your partner will not do certain things or when he's about to do them and he has a relationship with god the holy spirit tells him hey 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 please 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 yeah there is something in him the inner man who is communicating with him on a daily basis so if you remove god out of the picture you begin to work with flesh and let me tell you all of us if we were to listen to our flesh you see it here <laughs> let me tell you things would not work so please put god at the center put god inquire of him in the decisions that you're making speak to him pray about you know the issues that you have in the marriage you know sometimes your husband your your, your wife is annoying you and all this take it to god you know he's the one that can change hearts we don't change hearts take it to god and some people go and pray hey my my husband hey you're complaining but always first ask god but is there something in me maybe there is something in me that is not understanding this man or is that with you because you are also a problem you know it takes two mm? so when people keep saying my husband my husband ah, ah. 
your husband what about you what role are you playing in this whole marriage marriage thing so even as you pray yes you've gone to tell god about your husband but please also tell god about you you're like lord search my heart if there's anything that is causing this conflict to eh, to continue please remove it cut it out cut it out give me a new heart and all those things Re renew my mind etc that's what is going to make marriage work god prayer the word is key and is foundational to make marriage work those have been my points for you i hope you enjoyed them mm? let me know in the comment section you know how is marriage you know what tips can you share with us because i've been in marriage for five years but i know there are people who are following me 10 years 15 years give us those tips in the comment section my name is lisa kusima and as always i'm here to inspire